Let's play a DIY synth with light. When controlling a synth parameter, we typically twist a knob. For example, we can change pitch that way. What's fun about building a DIY synthesizer is that we can easily experiment and explore unconventional ways of controlling sonic parameters with different sensors. Today, let's use a sensor that measures brightness and build a light-controlled instrument. In order to achieve this, we'll use the Daisy Seed, a microcontroller that can measure sensor values and output sounds. With this, we'll be able to create a musical instrument that maps brightness to a synth parameter and outputs audio. The go-to sensor for measuring brightness is the photoresistor. Much like twisting a potentiometer alters its voltage output, a photoresistor's output changes depending on how much light it's exposed to. So, our game plan is to create a circuit that consists of photoresistor, a daisy seed, and audio jack. Then, we'll program a synth that reads and maps the photoresistor's sensor value to filter cutoff frequency. And finally, we'll flash that program to the seed. Okay, let's get started. Our first task is to connect the electronic components together. We have provided a link in the description below where you can get the components you need to build a light synth. First, let's insert the seed into the breadboard. Here's a video that explains how connecting electronic components to the breadboard works. Then, we'll bridge the digital ground and analog ground together since we'll be using a sensor. Next, we'll connect the audio jack. Tip is connected to audio out pin 1 and sleeve is connected to ground. The photoresistor has two interchangeable pins. Connect one pin to power and connect the other pin to Daisy's ADC0 pin, which will read the photoresistor value. We also need to connect this pin to the ground through a resistor, which acts as a pull-down resistor. And we're done with the hardware. Okay, let's program next. We can use different languages to program with the Daisy platform. For this video, we'll be using Plug Data as it's quick to set up and easy to program with any DAISY board. We can install it from their website. Before we program, let's first view the photoresistor's sensor value using a serial monitor. Here's a patch that prints the photoresistor's value. This patch is included in the folder that you can download from the link below. By compiling this patch with the custom JSON file, light.json, in the same download folder, this received photoresistor object outputs the voltage value read by DAISY's ADC0 pin. So this JSON file maps the receive object and the ADC0 pin together. The name photoresistor is set in this line, and pin 15 is DAISY's ADC0 pin. Okay, let's compile and flash this program to the seed. Click on the main menu icon at the top and select Compile. After installing the toolchain, Select Custom JSON as the target board and open the custom JSON file mentioned earlier. And toggle debugging printing to be yes. Before flashing a program, we have to put the seed into bootloader mode. Hold down the boot button and also hold down the reset button. Once you release the reset button, you can then release the boot button. Now click the flash button in plug data. Using Arduino IDE serial monitor, which you can watch this video to learn how to set it up for DAISY, we can see the sensor value printed after selecting DAISY as the board and USB modem as the port. We should see a value scaled between 0.0, .0 and 1.0. Here we see a value higher than 0 even though we haven't pointed a flashlight at it yet. This value represents the ambient brightness from the existing lighting in the room. We can shine a flashlight at the sensor to increase the value. Cool, now the fun begins. Here's a simple subtractive synth patch that includes a sawtooth oscillator and a low pass filter. Here's what it sounds like in action. Now let's map the sensor value to the cutoff frequency. So here's a simple scaling that we can do. We subtract the ambient light value from the incoming sensor value so that the input value is zero when we don't point the flashlight at the sensor. Then we multiply by a scaling value and add 100. For example, if the ambient value is 0.2 and the maximum brightness is 0.8 when we shine the flashlight closely, we would need to multiply by about 13,000 in order to get a cutoff frequency range between 100Hz and 8000Hz. We can add a clip object to avoid going outside of that range. And that's pretty much it. Okay, let's flash this patch and see this synth in action.
So what could we add to this synth? Well, connecting MIDI keyboards would be fun. We can play notes with the keys and control synth parameter with lights. We can of course use more photoresistors. We could set up a matrix of photoresistors similar to Leaf Cutter John's musical instrument called the light thing. This matrix configuration provides us with three dimensions of control, X, Y, and Z. Finally, a knob for adjusting the scaling would be useful to have so that whenever the ambient brightness level changes, we don't have to print the sensor value, adjust the patch, and reflash the program. I hope this video demonstrated an unconventional and fun way to play with synthesizers and inspired you to experiment further. Okay, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.